What's going on YouTube, Geothan right here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you an application that allows you to install various tweaks on your device on iOS 16, 17, and even iOS 18, and even iOS 18 up to iOS 18.1 beta. So this one works directly on your device. I'm going to show you how it works in a second. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare. They provide Reboot, a software that allows you to easily downgrade from one version to another for signed versions and fix your device if it's stuck in recovery mode, DFU mode, black screen, blue screen, and stuff like that. This also supports iOS 18, 17 and so on and it does have a version for both Windows and Mac OS. Definitely check it out below. So recently Sparsebox, a toolbox on your device that allows you to enable various tweaks without being jailbroken has been updated. The developer said this, quote, I have updated Sparsebox to include arbitrary read exploit up to iOS 18.2 beta 2. They later corrected to beta 1 as well as app list so you can export any app bundle and data. Please note, however, App Store apps remain encrypted. Not sure about EU apps though. And if you go here on GitHub, you can actually get Sparsebox, which is directly on your device. It's an IPA file that you can grab from the nightly link over here. And it looks like this once installed. So you open it and these are the options available. You select a pairing file and they do have a guide on how to get one. And you have here two big options, list installed applications and bypass the two app limit. I'm sure many of you would definitely enjoy that feature. And then here you have a couple of tweaks based on the mobile gestalt file. There are a lot of applications that use this, for example, Misaka X and the Nugget, but those are on PC. This one works directly on the device. It doesn't require a PC for anything other than the initial installation. So you have the action button option, allow installing iPadOS apps. So if an application is only available for iPad, you can install it. Always on display on iOS 18 plus, enable Apple intelligence, Apple pencil support, boot chime support, camera button, you have charge limit tweak, crash detection, it may or may not work, it's a little bit flaky. You can enable dynamic island on iOS 17.4 plus. You have internal storage info, metal HUD for all apps and stage manager. You can also spoof your device model in here. You can select between, for example, an iPhone 15 Pro or 16 Pro. You can make it be referred to as iPadOS in settings and in essentially anything that checks what kind of device you have for various reasons. And then of course you can apply the changes or reset all the changes. It's as simple as that. I'm pretty sure many of you will actually use the bypass tree app limit and possibly many of these tweaks in here could be useful for a lot of you. But yeah, this does this without any jailbreak. You should know that this works on iOS 18.1 as far as beta one on all devices. And it does work on iOS 17 and it does work on iOS 16 without being jailbroken. This is only achieved through a very, very weak exploit that wouldn't be able to create a jailbreak, but yeah, you could get this. So definitely check it out. It was recently updated with more support. So yeah, it's Sparsebox, completely open source over here as well. And this one has the advantage of not requiring a computer in order to apply the tweaks. So thank you for watching. I am Gia Snow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated. Peace out.